Great, I've seen the facility in Vancouver is down to be a sign that is proven to prevent drug overdose deaths, limit the spread of HIV and AIDS, limit public disorder, and help people access treatment. I'm just moving out of the way. This is Ian Wilson, who along with Shelly Tomek have fought a long place in order to save this facility in Vancouver's downtown east side. We're very happy with the results of the Supreme Court decision today. I'd like to throw it over to Dean Wilson, who's been working on this for a dozen years to run the map to try and save lives in our community at the downtown east side. Thank you very much, John. I'm just really ecstatic. But, you know, it didn't matter how the results would come out today. We have won anyway. Statistically, nine people a year are saved. In eight years we've been open, that is equivalent to 72 people that are alive today that would not have been alive had Insight not been open. That's a victory right there on its own. This just substantiates what I've been saying a long time, that what we were doing was the right thing. This has nothing to do with the law and order platform. This has to do with gold standard medical intervention for a group of very, very ill people. And we've proven again in the third court that we, what we did was the right thing to do. And this is all about a medical intervention that has nothing to do with law and order. Can you I guess we'll be, we'll be hearing shortly from the, uh, from the Supreme Court itself that will detail how their judgment has been made. We're going to be both available here for questions and answers after that, after that is delivered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, I, I, I was, I've been fighting this all my life. I, I was addicted for most of my life. It's really funny in the last two years. I actually used the on site, which is the second floor of insight to clean up, and for the first time, I can say in the last 44 years, <laughs> I've been sober for two years. And that is an incredible personal victory, and it, um, it also, you know, it goes, but for the longest time, it's really funny that feds always were talking about that we're only going to do treatment for prevention, and yet they would not find the second and third floor, which is treat, prevention and treatment, on that site. They are only, only attack this small little part of it, which is the injection site, and as I say, this is a full service medical facility. We have an injection site, but we also have counseling. We have transitional housing. We have a detox. Yet, they always wanted it as a standalone and at least they can attack it. But I used the whole facility. I was actually the very first person to ever use the insight and the engineering. And um, I flew through it and I actually took advantage of the other two floors. And today I'm standing here. I don't think I would have been alive because I was down to 107 pounds two years ago. Yes. I wanted to be validated from the 14 years I've spent. And I want people to die. So we, we, we also have here a uh, uh, member of Parliament for Vancouver East Living Babies. First of all, um, I'd like to thank the two original complainants. One of whom, plaintiffs, uh, one of whom you've heard from, Dean Wilson, who's my constituent, and Shelley. Uh, these two folks, along with the Portland Hotel Society, the Friends of Insight, these are the people who kept the faith, who kept this battle going. And I, I just feel like an incredible sense of relief and victory about this decision today. This has been the most incredible battle not only in the downtown east side, but across Canada to say that Insight, the safer injection facility, the only one in North America, has always been about saving people's lives. It's always been, as you heard from Dean, about a very important medical intervention to help people. And the, the relentless opposition from the conservative government has been uh, just an incredible thing to take on. And I feel so proud of all of the people who came together, whether they were academics, whether they were police officers, frontline uh, activists, uh, health professionals, and most of all, the drug users themselves, who were willing to stand up and have the courage to say that we were going to fight all the way to make sure that Insight continued its important work in the downtown east side. So this decision today feels Wow, incredibly important. It feels like a victory. And I want to say to Mr. Harper, I don't believe any of them ever went there. They never took the time to find, really find out what Insight was about. They always took this political, partisan, ideological position. And I want to say to them, have you now understood and learned the importance of what Insight is about and how it's so much a part of the world? 
Uh, so this is a very important day today, and um, I feel just tremendously happy. It was, one of, it was actually the first issue I raised when I became elected as a member of Parliament in 1997, because so many people were dying needlessly uh, of drug overdoses. And uh, Insight has, there's been no overdoses, in, no deaths from overdoses in Insight. And it's been a very important service in our community. Thanks. You know, absolutely, you know, Insight is part of a continuum of services. picture of what needs to be done. But it's a very critical part because it's about making a connection with users on the street and finding a place that's safe where they can have contact with health professionals, with peer counselors, and have then a connection with other services. As you heard from Dean, I mean his story is 